You can support this show on patreon.com backslash wandering the aisles. That's patreon.com backslash wandering the aisles. Hey, buddy. Hello. How are you? <clears throat> I'm all right. Did you just cough? No, I was just choking on. I love that you have an. Do you feel like recording? I mean, I don't care. I don't use my hand sanitizer. That shit's worth money. Here, shut the door. Hi, welcome to Wandering the Isles. I am Andy Farnsworth. This is Denzer. Yeah, that's his nickname, Denzer. I didn't make it up because I'm living in Denver. That's his nickname. And he's had it for a while. I think uh, it's a common law nickname at this point. Is that a thing? If you've had it for seven years, if you've lived with your nickname together, we're in my truck and we're breaking the six foot rule to go get groceries. Uh, He doesn't have a car, so. However, he did keep rolling down the window and after I asked him to roll it up, he just kept breathing into the window the whole time, which I thought was funny. Even though probably not, because there's a statistical chance that I could have infected him. I just want to say a couple things. First, this was recorded, uh, I don't know, a week and a half ago? And things were different. I I mean, already. It's like we've lived a lifetime. But what a loaded time to have a podcast where you mostly go to the grocery store with people. I mean, that was the original conception of it. The slug is impulse buys with commentary from Earth's most interesting regular people. And now it's panic buys with commentary from Earth's most interesting anxious people. It's tricky, isn't it? Because you're walking around and it's just quiet. And on some level, I enjoy this. This, It's like the whole world is on a break. I'm removed from what's going on in the hospital and New York and I have some people I'm worried about there. But for the most part, you know, it's it's that I'm just removed from it. And it feels like I can work on my podcast or I can work on my writing. And, and then I'm wondering, like, why is it so hard to focus? And it, there's just a deep fear that I can't really access, nor should I, I think, like... I'm operating in like a slow threat mode underneath all this. And uh, I keep forgetting about it, but it comes up. When it's good, it's like I finally cry about it. It just feels good to finally... I can't believe I'm a guy who says that. Um, I mean, I can, but it's taken me a while to get up to speed on me being a guy that cries. Because I didn't for a long time. So probably the best solution, if you can get there, is to have a good cry. Or, yeah, everyone's got their system (laughs) for dealing with their machinery. So what you'll hear in this episode, both Denzer and I are in this place of panic. We're kind of both dealing with it in our own way. We're going to stock up for the end of the world, or at least two weeks Which is kind of a cruel thing to do to someone. Are you buying for the rest of your life or two weeks? Maybe the rest of your life is two weeks. Maybe the entire society is going to shut down. It does make you a little schizophrenic about how you're purchasing. You're like, should I buy this 50-gallon drum of olive oil? Or do I just need a 10-pound bag of rice? How about a 10-pound bag of rice and one little bottle of olive oil? Because I really don't use olive oil that much. And then when the shit goes down, you're like, why did I not buy more olive oil? It's our currency now. We went to Whole Foods and then King Supers. So we went to the One Percenters grocery store and then we went to the, uh, the People's grocery store. I love Whole Foods. It's a terrible decision financially every time. But there's just a, it's more peaceful, you know? There's still the same pillaging going on, but people are are at least pretending they're more centered about it. 
and the prices are ridiculous, so they had a lot of stuff still in, in stock. Here's me in the truck with Denzer, and we're going to go get some groceries. What is this? What's what? My fucking, they just put this on my door. Read it. Please inform us if any other occupant of the apartment is experiencing the COVID infection or coronavirus disease. Please call officer's request. Oh my God, you really are bad. Why would I not be? I mean, I mean, yeah. You've been out and around and you've been in different states. You've been everywhere. You're not experienced. You're not like doing the whole like stay. I mean, my life though is not, I mean, I don't cut touch anybody. Whatever. Okay. Well, of course, she's already want to go to Safeway, on Safeway. Well, here's the thing: is I was thinking that out in um, the suburbs is maybe a little less b- bad, but I, I don't know. What's your thinking? Like I went to now the- where they have children, it'd be even worse. But I mean, these ones are probably busy here right now. Cause I went, I went to the Whole Foods out in Lakewood, and it was fine. Like you couldn't even tell. But that's you're worried about expensive. I mean, three things there are like fifteen dollars. Yeah. What do you need? I wanted to get meat I could freeze. I wanted to get some. I wanted to get eggs to make a couple things. I wanted to get um, pasta because I'm out of pasta. I have some rice. I have two things of macaroni and cheese. I um. I want to. Like I said, this is going to last at least like four months. You want to get? I like. I'm dead serious. I talked to like two or three people. Like, cause, yeah. like, and I live next to a fucking cesspool of old people. If one of them gets it, we're all screwed. That's totally like an old people home. So if one of them gets a pool of old people, I mean, I'm just saying, like that would be the that'd be like the worst place for it to happen would be there. But they're all walking around outside, and I'm like, good for you guys. Hello, Denzer. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. I just feel. Is this the first time you've been out? Mm, yes, in three days, I think. But can I roll down the window? It's literally just hot in here. Yeah. But that's the thing that's also sucky is that like they've literally like laid hundreds and thousands of people off because like they've fired people like they let people go like legitimately. So my job is like we don't let anyone go, but if you apply for unemployment, we're not gonna we're not gonna stop you from getting it and receiving it. But it's just that like now all those people are unemployed. Like there's a lot of businesses that won't be here after this is over. But I would just like to go to the grocery store if you do. yeah yeah are you done? Okay, good. Am I done? Do you have any other questions? <laughs> no, I just, um, are you, do you, you seem like you might be the kind of person to be upset if I said it's okay. Because, like, I right, mean, it's not okay. You can't say that. It doesn't mean denial. It doesn't mean, it means, like, we're on this truck. It's nice out. We're preparing. That's the fucking tricky thing. It's like, we're, we have to prepare. But all that, all those, like, future-tripping thoughts, I mean, it's like... I mean, they're all rational. They're not, yeah, there's nothing wrong with them. There's. I a, think those are also all okay. They're 100% legit, of course. It just doesn't serve you. Like, what of it can you... I don't think, I mean, being cautious you, I definitely mean, serves me. I find that that to be the best... I am a pretty rational thinker. I just don't like shit like this. I just want to go to the grocery store. That's all I want to do. I mean, I want to just go and get some groceries and come back to my house and hang out. It's just like, I don't know if you've heard that thing when you're drowning. You don't move quicker. You move slower. You breathe deeper, you know? Because it's the, it's the opposite of what you want to do. And same with mentally. It's a big revelation when you realize for the first time that your reaction to crazy is to try to comfort other people in their crazy. I mean, I think a lot of people get that, but I, I have kind of tricked myself into thinking I'm, I'm wise. Like I'll hear myself saying things, Andy, you really helped Denzer. You really talked him down and you said some wise things. And then you realize uh, holy shit, you were f- terrified when you were saying that stuff, and there's some people walking their dog, and they're gonna see me, uh, 
recording into a big microphone. And they're probably like, oh, I bet he's podcasting. They, they probably saw like six other people talking in their car into a microphone. There's probably like five other grocery store based happening podcasts on this street alone. It's hard to feel special in this day and age. <laughs> anyway, I just realized I was hiding a lot. There's little bits of wisdom, but there is some of my own hiding in talking to Denzer. But you can't both panic. If you're both in the life raft, one of you has to be trying to chill the other out. You can't both be rocking the boat. You know, and he was, and I, I didn't want that much fear in the passenger seat of my truck. Once we got out and I got walking and having to make these decisions about what to buy, I realized that, yeah, I'm scared. Here's a little bit more why I love this guy. Should we yell at them for touching each other, those people? Four feet. I thought it was six. There's at least four. What are we? They're like three, dude. That's why I went to Winter Dome. Because you've been everywhere. I was, I'm just trapped Desert, in my house. I have little not house. been touching. I haven't touched a soul. Or I've sanitized my hands like 30 times. That's fair. Like a day. All right, so what's the plan? What do you want to get? You want pasta? I pasta want, sauce? I want things I can freeze. I want pasta. I want... Uh, frozen veggies. I want a couple of those P.F. Chang frozen Asian meals, if they have any. I'm super, super in the mood for that. Look, dude, I'm as at risk as you are. We're both in the same car. Well, I know, which is why I hold down the light. All I know... Oh I'm just kidding. How do you know I didn't lick your seat before you got in? Or I mean, I sneeze all over. You don't know. It's like... This it's, is a trap. <laughs> I'm just look, I mean, I people. think... So what I can control is eating well... Obviously stocking up. What's that? Just this. Stocking up. Um, you know, for food. Are you stocking up though? You're currently fasting. What have you purchased? I bought a huge chuck roast. Um, yeah, people are not acting sane right now. I bought a huge chuck roast, which would last me several a few days, I'll make a pot roast out of it. Several frozen fish fillets. I have a little bit of rice, but I definitely need rice. I've got eight Hot Pockets. I'm trying to have one meal a day. You're the guy that's not gonna share food. When shit goes down, what do you mean? you're yes, gonna I would. hide in your apartment. If I haven't let someone in, why would I like, go out to share food? They're gonna bang down your door. I mean, All not we for my have, hot Denzer, pockets. We're not fighters. All we have is our people skills. Like, I mean, that's the reason I am here. It's not for fighting. It's for talking. It's the only reason my genes have been able to express themselves over the last however many millennia. I have no problem sharing. That wouldn't be the issue at all. I just feel like at this current moment right now, I don't even know what I would have to share or what I'm I'd have to you, offer. I don't think you like it. I was trying to apologize to you. You're fine. My family, we tease each other, and it gets a little... It's definitely passive-aggressive, but I think it's also this way of, like, poking at each other. Oh, you love to poke. Oh, yeah. I poke. Uh, you poke. That's fine, though. I'm going to make a... And then, oh. I'm going to make a generalization right now, though. You go for it. Do Facebook. it. Yes, continue. Yes. The only people that use the poke are gay men. To see if you're gay, it's like a... It's is a, that it's what a, the poke is? I mean, perhaps. Well, yeah, you, you do. Come, and the yeah. wave. I have yet to What the to fuck have, is the wave? I haven't been on Facebook in so long. I have oh. no idea. I'm a, I get a lot of gay men, Denzer. I don't know. I can't I, relate. Yeah. I don't get any gay men. Yeah. Not my thing. You know what? I'm kind of I'm grieving. too pretty on the internet for that. <laughs> Are you being sarcastic? Oh, no. I'm being dead ass. Again, like. You I'm don't a, think you do well? Oh, no. Hell no. I'm a blouse. What's that mean? A feminine top. So it like can, it just throws people off because like I I do things that aren't considered masculine on the internet. Like all my photos are like pretty or like they're glam shots or it's me like in sequins or it's me like in makeup or it's me like in a group of people and I obviously have on some like flamboyant outfit or like something that is not normal. 
in like by society standards so it's like I don't get boys knocking on my door because like I'm just like a queer ball and like most men most gay men don't reach out to their own type they always want like you know the straight guy they want someone who like is questionable that's why they're going to poke you to see if you get you know if you respond but they're, they don't do that to other gay men because it's too obvious and they know that so they're just like why would I even bother like I'm too available for that so it's just like so oh, I'm like, a perspective convert correct that's what people get off on is the whole like oh this is, and what that's called is trade you would be considered trade trade yeah trade is like the straight guy that you like you try to have sex with because like you're trading it's like it's just called trade what's for some the reason. trade what's the exchange I don't know that I guess it's just a term I'm trying yeah that's just the term like just trade it's straight trade it's just like yeah just what it, that's just the word I don't know again that's not my thing I don't pursue that I don't care for that I don't I, that's not what I want I want like a faggot ass bottom who wants to have a good time that's like more my jam I want something. All right, we're done like, recording. Right. That was the best. That's all I needed. Check, what please. was it? I wanted a faggot ass bottom. Yeah, I mean that's like what that's like the joy. I want to wake up and like know I can have sex with someone. And it's not going to be fussy. <laughs> like that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like it just I don't know. I don't want to have to be like someone's bitch. That's not my jam. I'm kind of grieving like not oh. being able to touch anyone right now. Like I mean like not just sex, just like cuddling with someone. You know? Yeah. Like I mean, that's why it's so annoying because it's like I don't have anyone. And I deleted all the dating apps, so I wasn't like gonna even be triggered to do that. I was yeah. like, oh, like I don't need to know if I can have someone. Did Grinder put out know. a statement on COVID? I deleted it before uh, that happened, so I'm not sure. I'm getting statements from everybody. Well, yeah. I'm turning around. I'm not gonna kill you in a rental parking lot debated that in my mind but didn't say anything you did you thought maybe this is I'm where like, I'm well this is where he's going to trap me and leave me stranded he's just so I can calm. see if I can get home let's see if I Why can get I home from that? here I mean I don't know what sick game to play with your friends <laughs> oh, that's a game actually my in all brother honesty because I've never followed you on the internet I don't know who you are I know that you have a I don't even know if that's your real name it could just be your comedic name people have stage your names your name is Denzer <laughs> I know <laughs> I know. <laughs> you are the one with an alias. You are correct. Do you want to say your real name? No, I never do. Should we if try If they Walmart? started their Facebook... Oh, I never... No. Okay. I don't do Walmart. I mean, it doesn't look terrible. I don't do it either, but I think it's our most likely suspect for rice. Maybe. I don't know why I think that, but I do. My instincts. I can't stop touching my face for some reason. Fuck. I, I mean, I just itches. make love to my face. I've made it. I'm basically doing face oh, anal. Oh, sprouts. I we mean, could go to touching sprouts. your face is the new anal. So there's things that so are way different about it. you're saying you don't want to die. That's really what you're getting I at. don't mind the idea of dying. It's just in the way that it would go down would be annoying. Well, like, which is why I'm on the sixth floor, because I can jump whenever the fuck I want Denzer, to. Denzer, don't talk like that. I, I mean, you I know that people. these are the... Well, again... And if you want to, it's your choice, but... Exactly. Don't... There is a King Super over there, I believe. We're, I'm just... So this is for me. Target? I'm okay, going fine. to Whole Foods right now, because I... Why? Dude, because I, my experience is that it's, it's not as picked over, because people think it's too expensive. But, Fair. So it's... But we're just going to look. It's not... I gotta pee. I'm gonna go to the restroom. Where is that? Down here. Don't say anything bad. Wash can, your hands. It's still recording. I've already said plenty of bad things. Don't about me. Oh, okay. Unless you want. Unless you want, I'm not take. According to my research, Andy. Oh has shit! A legend I can't name. use the rest. Right there. No, it's blocked off. Too many people stole toilet paper. I wonder if you can freeze that. Broccoli and cheddar quiche. Why am I making impulse decisions? The chip aisles decimated. Plenty of bean chip crisps. Who doesn't love bean chip crisps? Cauliflower pretzels? It's a new thing. We'll go to another store. I not, I'm not... What'd you say? I said, we'll go to another store. I just... I okay. know this place is expensive. Uh, but... They're totally out of... Everything? Pasta? 
Just yeah, pasta sauce. Let me see what they have for pasta sauce. Here, buddy. People aren't going for the $10 pasta sauce. I know, can you, can you, oh my God, like so bizarre. <laughs> it's a crisis. Let's I not buy love, $10. Yeah, let's not get the, yeah, Pretty exactly. It's real good. <laughs> so if you're just buying to have a good meal, it's great. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel like that's, cr yeah. yeah. <laughs> Denzer. Yo, look at this, man. This is yes. fucking crazy. You yeah. gotta look at the very top shelves. People don't like reach all the way back for the gluten-free cauliflower macaroni and cheese. Let's try it. Organic mayonnaise is $9. Yeah, yeah this seems deal. fine. All right, what store are we going to next? Uh, either just King Supers or... I haven't been to Target, but I don't need like other shit. So Target, Target was ransacked. Yeah, I feel like the King Supers down the street. I don't know. All right. This shit is all expensive, isn't it's it? It's so expensive. I just was walking around leaving all the prices. Those are... Those are $8 bagels. See, it's that thing of like pandemic... Saving money. Bagel. Reasonable amounts. <laughs> right now, if shit was really going down, I'm not thinking straight. If I'm thinking in terms of complete fit down, I wouldn't bat an eye at $8, you know? I still don't think I can buy this $11 chicken breast. Is that just, I mean, that's way too expensive, right? But it's a meat and it's fresh and I can freeze it. Just keep it, yeah. What'd you say? I, I mean, I don't know, I can't tell you, I don't know. I don't know who else is gonna have what, I know. Yeah, I'm gonna get more open. You guys up. open or you close? I'll be right back, okay. Denzer. I love your sweater. That's cute. How do you stay six feet away from someone in the grocery line? This is not six feet, sir. Fuck Where's off. your social distance? I'm trying to give her her space. All right, you're right. Who, this is a good point. Who what? makes the decision? It's the new etiquette. Because I, I walked up to you. you. I know. You were in a, you're right. I'm you, six feet away from her, which means you should be six feet away from that's me. That's like 20 feet. That's six feet. If I were to lay down, I'd probably bring be touching her feet. Because Who's I walked one? into your space. Right. And so I apologize. Where's my social bubble? No, it's fine. Yeah. We're at Whole Foods. It's organic. This is totally natural. Everything is fine. Look who's coming around. Everything is fine. What did you just say? I said everything is fine. I'm still debating this $11 chicken, but I'm just going to do it. It's like end of the world impulse buys. <laughs> shit is responsible. Crinkle fries, the mac yeah, I've got the uh, <laughs> macaroni and cheese gluten-free made with cauliflower. <laughs> Some cans of tuna because they were only $3. If someone would have bought pasta in Omaha, we wouldn't have to be here right now. Dude, they didn't have but. me. I would have. No, it's legit. Every decision I make, I'm like picturing like huddled by a fire, sharing it with people. I'm a good person. You're gonna share your baby like, cows, people. My last hand it piece back of to chocolate. You. I'll eat that for sure. We'll leave that in the car. Fuck it. That could be my parting gift. Hello. I have this bag. There's no way I'm putting that in that bag. That's fine. I'll put my own things in my bag. It's all good. Perfect. Don't look at my pin. I, it's the end. Six feet, I'm sorry, my bad. Thanks, man. You hanging in there? Yeah. Yeah. Ethan's got this. Do they give you biohazard pay for doing this or no? They should, they have the money. It's just the longevity of how long this is gonna take is what I'm bothered by. Does that make more sense, maybe? Fear always makes sense. No, it's... <laughs> That's the bitch of it. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Your, your logic is 100% correct. I just want to die peacefully. That's the spirit. It's almost like it's it's kind of like a route, like I'm finding women even more attractive right now. Explain that one. Why are you? It's, I think it's because like I'm gonna take care, caveman shit. Yeah, or you just you don't find all this. You, know you don't dying. find all this arousing. The um, whole turns out. Well, that depends. I'm so burnt out from masturbating. I'm like, I don't know, man. <laughs> you found all I've done is just jack off for like six hours. I don't even want to count how many times I've came in the past like two days. 
I know. I it's mean, probably could set a record for someone. It's, but there's this guy in Japan who is currently setting the world record, and he like jacks off every single day, all day. It's like all he does, and like he has a his like girlfriend lives there, and just like she sews dolls on the internet, and he just like jacks off all day. But see, that's a real stable person. income. Like, is he? Is it a camp situation? Um, I do believe he is on cam at all times, and he has a Guinness record for like most ejaculations in a day or something like that. And I don't quite remember what the number is, but did you see that lady sigh? Only, did you, that's the kind of shit you see right now. Yeah, because she's like, how am I going to feed my children? They only had Easy Mac. I couldn't buy vegetables because they're all open. Everything frozen is gone. I have two or four children at home. What am I going to feed them? I think she's single. I think she's a doctor. She had Lululemon uh, shopping bags. You can buy that secondhand. She doesn't she seem like a secondhand. I'm going to make some generalizations. That's and her. she didn't seem... Okay, where was the... This the way, King Super? Past us. Yeah, King Supers, yes. Oh, it was down, it was on the left as you go up. I believe it was, yeah, wherever we came from. I'm turned around right now because I don't know this neighborhood, but yes. I'm buckled in, are you buckled in too? Oh, it's telling me I need to change the oil. Oh. Well, these auto mechanic shops are probably not going to be open. That's dangerous. Can you change your own oil? D- How much of a man are you, Mr. Andy? Well, it's not can a measure of my your- manhood, but I can't. Are you sure? <laughs> I mean, maybe. <laughs> By some not. people's standards, I don't know. Dude, you can Google everything. Like, I know how to do it, but... I know look how Look at this guy behind us. I don't want to. Is look he at, scary? No, he's rocking out. Is he hoarding toilet paper? No. Does he know? Does he know that look he has at toilet that. paper? That is the p- sheer joy. All I'm saying, though, is... Have you seen that movie Birds on Netflix? The Alfred this, Hitchcock movie? No, 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 no. Maybe it's not called Birds. I know that birds are involved... Sandra Bullock is in it and she has those two children and like it's that pandemic where like no one can see the evil monsters and once they do they all die I haven't seen it oh, but it sounds restful it's very much what's going on in my mind right now I think I feel like it's an interesting flick very fun who you would you want around done? you do you have you thought about that what do you mean when is there someone like you kind of like want to reach out to that you haven't talked to in a long time like, it makes um, me think about a couple people that I want to be like, hey. Um, the only people I thought about talking to are my very, very old bosses. Hmm. Just because I know that they're probably suffering, and they probably are suffering, and their businesses are just suffering. And I just feel like they're... Old bosses where? They're, like, really... They're in Denver. But for but what kind of job? It, that's, that's a whole other story. That was my job called Wildflowers uh, from years ago that I had that I really loved. It was a really cute retail boutique oh. um, that did, like, so, house plants and home goods and all this kind of cute shit. I would like to take this opportunity to talk about something that's been going on in my mind during this purgatorial whatever we're in. And that is an extreme desire to text exes. Really one in particular. I've done that thing where I put it in the box to send it, you know, in the little oval window. And then I'm like, Andy, not now. Just cut it. And then put it in the notes. And then uh, maybe come back to it if you really still feel like you want to send it. And it's not that it's, it's not that anything I'm saying is, uh, I don't think there's anything bad in what I'm saying. It's just sometimes it's selfish to reconnect with someone. Shit, I don't know. I was about to say something centered again, but... It's almost like your life flashes before your eyes in a very slow motion kind of way. And you're like, who do I miss? You know, what, do I, what kind of food do I want to have as my last meal for me? Possibly shells and cheese with tuna fish. Or as my buddy uh, on Facebook pointed out, he has shells and cheese with smoked sausage, which is amazing. Who do you want to curl up with in the fetal position? When the anthropologists find you, seven feet under the ground, buried in ash, like the great people of Pompeii. I bet you some of those people were with their exes. I bet you there are people who left their families to go and be with the the one that got away so they could die next to them. I bet you that happened. No, they didn't have time, did they? Somebody thought about it, though. There's probably something on one of the walls in Pompeii that they haven't found yet that's like, hey, I miss you. Here's what I would have written. Hey, you still out there in Brooklyn? 
and then internal monologue. That's assuming you're not in a hospital bed in a makeshift quarantine down in an F-train subway stop, and not on a respirator listening to the last episode of Stuff You Should Know. I hope you're okay. I mean, I know not okay, but not okay, okay. Internal monologue. I'm not going to text you. I'm not. I'm trying not to. I mean, yeah, this probably sounds pathetic, but it's okay if you accidentally on purpose butt dial me like an accidental FaceTime thing, like a butt face dial. You know, I'd really love to catch up and get square before I'm coughing to death after trying to masturbate to you one last time. I didn't send uh, my text. Did you send yours? And I'm not saying it's not possible. It uh, It's entirely possible. But if there's one you're debating about, um, you can do what I do, which is paste it over to the notes section or just put it out there on your podcast. I mean, th- what I did was fictional, but... Yeah, it was totally fictional. The virus thing, it's softening, right? I feel like that. I think it's softening people. But I wouldn't know because I don't really get to interact a lot. I mean, I'm saying that mostly from just walking around the neighborhood and, you know, going way around the other person and saying hi, like with a smile. It's kind of like what I'm guessing old racist segregation behavior might have looked like. Like you're walking to the other side of the street. (laughs) But in a fun way. In a half... No, it's not in a fun way. What am I talking about? Um, the sign was sticking out from the road. Oh, it's me that it's I told you to buckle in. That's what I said. Dude, I gotta start being the change I want in the world. You lost authority, but it's coming back. I lost authority. I I didn't want to listen to you. You were were freaking me out at first, but now I'm now I'm listening. (laughs) You're you're better now. But when you first, I'm not fear mongering. This is not fair. There was no mongering. Well then, it was fear rape. It was you had your you were just having your way with me (laughs) mentally. You you didn't even ask consent. You weren't like, hey, do you mind if I infect you with my terror? Well, but the facts of what (laughs) I have to deal with. That's not fair that I can't give you what What I have. I mean, if I'm living with it. I don't. No, never mind. I, I mean, no, don't no, no, even. Stop. Yeah, yeah. Stop. Okay, I'll don't. give you the fucking facts right this minute. Do you want to hear my fact? What's your fact? Jesus loves me. <laughs> this no, sign no, fuck off. <laughs> for the Bible fuck tells me off. so. I'm not here for that. Look at that guy. He's got his American flag. I'm glad we know what side he's on. Oh, I don't think he even knows what side he's on. He's, look at the American he's flag. He's on the side of methamphetamines, which is fine. <laughs> King Supers, that's the sign right there. It's on that street. Okay, I'll go back. Um, I hate the no, name of that grocery to... store, by the way. I mean, having King moved Supers. to Colorado. Yeah, it's soup. I hate the word soup. There it is right there. We're good, actually. Cool. Any soup, like the word soups, plural? Why? Because it's moist and like gooey. Uh, soup. The, mo- the word moist doesn't bother me. Okay, but soup? I don't have a dog in that fight. Queen soups? Queen so Queen Soup is in the Gaber hut. Oh. Look how big their American flag is, Dorothy. We are not in Kansas anymore, are we? This well, part see, of town look, boats too. Right I mean, in. let's describe the scene here. We this parking lot and another big giant strip mall. And I would say this is one of the a nicer strip mall, wouldn't you? This is yeah. a planned strip mall community. Yes. But um, this parking lot is not because people did this yesterday. People were prepared. People know, but I don't think they know that everything's going to close on Saturday. So we'll see what happens then. You know that um, they say that Sunday nights are the worst nights to shop anyway because that's when the like all the produce is like this most stale and everything. Like oh, they replace yeah. everything on Monday. Look, eggs on the ground. Ooh, Just still a, kind of worth it though. Are you gonna take those? How many? I shouldn't touch them. I don't know. I don't know where they've been. Never mind. Yeah, this could debatable be. though. How are you doing today? Hi. Well, thanks. How are you? Wait, we need a cart, Denzer. Oh, that's right. I could tell you. I mean, if I put this in a bag. I don't want to touch the cart. We each have to get Can our own cart. Can you push the cart? No, we're not sharing a cart. I don't want to touch the cart. Look, this guy's wiping the nuts. That's fine. Look at that. He's a sweet, sweet soul. Thank you. Thank you for wiping down the carts. Welcome. I appreciate it. Andy, don't touch things with your fingers. I touched the you outside of the it. You the bread. Oh, is bacon going to be a delicacy? I don't know. This is, I just can't even believe this is happening. French bread pizzas for $10. 
That's a bargain. They still have pizza rolls. What I just figured out is that I can park my cart in front of a, an area that's just been pillaged. So no one's gonna fuck with it. Caramel coconut Oreos. Never had those before. Should try them before I die. Why are there being Easter egg flavored Oreo? It's gross. Now I want all these sugar cereals. That's all I have in my house. I love sugar cereals. It's just like dessert though. You burn right through it. Yeah. You know, I like, I love peanut butter Cap'n Crunch. And it's gone. I saw girls buying makeup. That's fair. Are you shaming girls trying to be beautiful? No, I just an observation. Also, what is this fair thing everyone says? What fair? Fair. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Meaning it's like it's valid. It's like you're a little We're court, validating. courtroom all of a sudden. That's, well, no, again, like. You're like Judge Wagner. Well, if you say something that is clearly just a judgment, and then you say why, they're like, that's fair. So I'm just validating that your judgment wasn't exactly like rude. It no. was a solid observation. So like, that's what that means. What would you do though? So like, say this this week, what kind of irresponsible decision would you make? I feel like I don't know what I would do. Like it wouldn't be healthy. What can you do that's a terrible decision that's not gonna harm anybody? I guess drink again. I can't find, do you see eggs anywhere? Am I like totally I off? Think we're, I think eggs are Should we have happening. taken those ones from the parking lot? I'm not kidding, I'm kind of sad I didn't. But <laughs> you know what I love is parking lot eggs. You wanna know what's in this own self container? Eggs. That's a very good point. What, what's wrong with those? They're all broken. Look at that, you found eggs. Here's some eggs for you and eggs for me. Cool. It's but I wanna buy oh, cookie dough. Cool. Cookie dough, man. Cookie dough. That's a whole thing of it. My face is just, oh, whole milk right here. Look at whole milk. There's another one right it? there. Did you want whole milk, you said? No, I get oat milk. Oat milk, I thought you said whole milk. Simple sugar. I'm spending all my money on food, but like, what a stupid thing to even worry about. Do I have enough food for two weeks? I have an itch on my face that I want to itch so bad. I mean, there's cake flour. Is cake flour still just flour? Mm, I think it, no, it says cake. Yeah, but what the? <laughs> I'm sure you can use it for whatever. It, it, like what's it gonna, like bread's gonna taste like cake? I bet you what it is is it doesn't bind the same way that. So you think it's not gonna be good for making pasta? No. Sometimes you can get kosher stuff. Frozen pizzas? I got 10 French breads for $10. Um, Cause that's a bargain. I'm really They're gonna get good. fat. Like I'm not gonna be eating well. Yeah, that's okay. You're gonna eat once a day. Remember, we're intermediate fasting, Andy? Okay. I still have to itch my face, but I don't want to touch my face. I just feel crazy. I do love Echo Waffles, though. I can't find Andy. It's like some Toy Story horror story. Can I tell you a thought that I'm having that I don't feel good about? Oh, what? You want to buy bacon cheese jewels? Because I already did. What? No, like... It's a beer conundrum. I'm literally yeah. thinking about keeping this shit in my bedroom. Yeah, that's okay. Is it? Yes. That feels wrong, dude. You just shit talk me for not sharing, and you're like, oh, I'm gonna hoard this in my I bedroom. Know, but then they're like, guess what? Self-preservation is crucial. You're way ahead of me, dude. You're way ahead of me in your paranoia. Being here is setting in. Yeah. People are not fucking around with this. I can't even find peanut butter. Jiffy whipped cream. There's our cart, right? Oh yeah. Cool. Is that it? Man, we we ended up buying a lot, dude. Yeah, well, that's okay. It is? Yeah. See, now you're reassuring me. Again, are you gonna eat food? Yes. Yeah. You can't go to restaurants, you can't do anything else. I mean, like, yeah. they're gonna close businesses. Like, literally, that's gonna actually happen. But you said Saturday? Saturday. All right, yeah, you're right. I mean, you're gonna eat it eventually. Right. It just fucks up your timing. Right. My phone died. I'm paranoid now. Now I'm gonna really panic. You can, I think I got a charger. I finally itched my face with the corner of my shirt. I bet these would be good. Peanut butter corn puffs? They're not the same. Desperate times, desperate measures. Okay, I feel good about what I bought. Okay, cool, I'm ready to go. All right. Okay, let's check out. Can I start with you? How are you? I'm well, thank you. <laughs> can I stick okay there? Uh, yes, it is okay. Can I help you bag? Sure. Yeah. 
Isn't that a crazy flavor of Oreo? Yes, it looks yummy. Salted caramel coconut, like hell yeah. Just sprayed my hands with the sanitizer next to the grocery aisle. I just had to transfer money to make sure that oh, I... Oh, and I know, I did, I did the same. Heck yeah, candy bars. Don't judge. I said hell yeah, candy said, bars. Oh, I did okay. not judge. I was gonna say. I have all the chocolate in my house right now. That was like one of the first things I had to have. Thanks, you too. I tied all my bags in now. Stay sane. Yeah. Yeah, right? Perfect DM. Thank you, Teddy. So glad I remembered my safety word on my cell phone, or in your phone. Every time I try to log in my bank account, it asks me to send a password to my phone, but it will only send it to my phone. So my phone was dead. It asked me who my favorite composer is, and I'm like, I, always, I think it's like Lady Gaga or like Gaga, composer. but it's never that. It's never, that's never the answer. So Above so. and beyond sticker, yay. Just think if you were like 80, this is the pace that you go through the world at the most. When you're 80 though, because guess what? You have nothing but time when you're 80. When you're in your 20s, you go up probably 20 miles an hour faster because you can do 20 times more things. You're not I trying just, to get... I just meant it as a poetic exercise, not so much. So you didn't want me to analyze that? No, not really. I understand. But I appreciate it. You know I'm going to, I can't help it. We all deal with poetry in our own way. Clearly I'm very analytic right now or whatever. I don't know what I am right now. If not terrified, I don't know what, I guess. You seem less terrified. You have less- I have calmed you, down. You don't have the same porn eyes that you had when you got in the car. What does that mean? You don't know what porn eyes are? No. You what could, is like I'm trying to fuck anything that walks? That to me is what porn eyes, eyes are would be. like. It's just a look, a haze. Let's do some basic uh, bio autobiography stuff. So where are you from? Upstate New York. Moved here 10 years ago. I would call Denver home for sure. My mom said they're doing flights back to where we're from for only $75. And I was like, you, uh, she's like, are you gonna come home? And I was like, I do not think so. It's like the mom fair right now. I think the coming home, will you come home please? Yeah. Like the Delta special. Right. But it's like, you know, I don't really want to get on a plane and I don't really want to fly home and I don't really want to do any of that right now. Feels good to be here and now that I have all my groceries for two months. We have groceries. I'll be posted up. It's be I love this weather, the gray with the rain kind of half coming down. Like well, that's why I'm glad I have my balcony is because even if I'm trapped inside, I can still go outside. And someone said they're not legally allowed to evict you during this crisis. Yeah, so. no, I've heard that too. I don't really know how that works, per se. What are, let's play the what are we grateful game. What are we grateful for? I, I have mean, a I bunch of wigs it. at my house. I love You have a bunch of eggs? Art. No, wigs. Okay, you have a bunch of wigs. I'm glad I bought some eggs. I'm going to experiment with cake flour. That sounds exciting. You're going to try to make pasta out of cake flour. Let's see if I get fluffy, fun, weird, wheat, fluffy pasta. And then, I well, I'm happy. I guess I'm grateful I have this truck. I don't know why I like it. It makes me feel safe. Yeah, that's fair. Um, it has I'm, great, I'm pretty healthy. You know, I'm really healthy right now. I'm chubby. I need to lose like 15 pounds, but that's. I feel like it's good for the... If shit goes down, I got some extra weight. Got some pounds. Um, I have... There's a Sears outlet. I have a lot of good memories at Sears growing Sears up. Sears and Robux, man. It had a smell. I've seen this today. Like, people driving like 100 miles an hour. Why not? Like, I don't know if it's like the pandemic thing. And then, okay, what else? Um, yeah, health is a big one. I'm grateful that I'm sober. That's, I mean, I really am. I'm grateful I'm sober right now. Because 100%. even like decisions like this, um, going to the store Buying stuff, groceries. I probably would have not even bothered. I would have gotten a 20 pound bag of rice at Costco and then, but my big priority would have been just bottles of Jameson or whatever, you know? Like, that would have been the big priority. Really? Yeah. I mean, again, my I priority, if I were drinking, would have been socializing. So mine would have been going out. Mine would have been, like, having friends over. I would have, I would have, I would be reaching out now to more people to make sure that I had, like, a fun, good time around me. And I know just what people are going to call me, who are the people who are not going to prepare, who are going to want to be drunk and going to want to celebrate because they don't have to work or whatever. So I feel like I'm glad that I'm not in that bandwagon right now where I'm just, like, I'm... I'm grateful that I just want to have my food and be alone and just do my own thing right now. I was big on champagne. Do you especially pray? in the morning. Do I pray? No, I do not pray. I, um, 
I appreciate days that it's sunny outside. Do you believe in something? No. Nope. we? I th- you've asked me this a couple times. Well, yeah, I think but you, you want my answer a little to change. Bit. No, I don't at all, dude. That's not um, my business. I guess I was asking because I, I, like, there's a part of me that's like, I wonder if the lines are busy. I don't know. I mean, the lines are tied up to fucking the unemployment office and then the housing bureaus and then the. So I'm sure the lines to anyone's got are all tied up for sure. It can't be true. Well, it can't be true. They're tied up. I mean, you t- there's probably more bandwidth. For what? The unemployment office? No. I guess here's the here's the. Thing. Or do you mean to God? Because it's pretty vast. Pretty Let's open. not say God. Like I, I guess what I I'm, mean God, higher power, being yeah, yeah. deities, entities. What I mean is I, entities. What I'm getting at is I notice that like when shit is like this is happening, I'm um. I just I'm flinching, like I, I'm just carrying all this tension in my body, and I'm not. Well, that's why I'm trying to be rational and not carry that tension. Which is why I'm not going out. I'm not giving myself any reason to like be in fear of this. I want it to pass. I want it to be in a good place. I'm trying to like be prepared like situationally and have food and have shelter and have a job because that's what you need to survive in America. Like I'm just being level headed. I'm not I don't wanna carry the weight that you're carrying, like God or not, it's like I just want to be avoidant. My my Yeah. My solution is to yield to what is being asked of me in this moment by the government and by people who know what's going on so I don't perpetuate and cause this to happen again. This is just totally circumstantial bullshit. It's crazy. We had to go to the store, Denzer. I needed to go to the store. That's why I did it. And also, was I you're welcome, yes. by the way. Thank you. No, I... Oh, my God. You're so and bad. also, how am I doing? How was your weekend, Andy? Have I? No. I haven't. You I haven't just, asked me anything. <laughs> I'm such an asshole. I probably haven't. It's okay. That's all my. Well, you're asking rhetorical questions and you're poking the bear, so I feel like you must be okay because you're the one prying for answers. No, I guess. I, I, my trick but, is I pretend. I pretend that I'm okay. It's not pretending. It's like there is a denial. I to asked it. you what you had stored. And I've asked you questions. I can't go um, in the parking lot. Yeah, there's go, a guy. You, well, we can wait for him to get out. That would be. Oh, I guess there's a mover too. I'll go around the block. What about that guy? Is that an attractive guy? For um, you? Yeah, he's cute. He's That's just a regular guy. Hair. He seems like he goes on walks. That's I'm into that. All right, now how's what's the situation? So you can pull in to like just the parking lot right here, so you can like just park and hang out for a few minutes. But again, you just seem optimistic, or at least you're fronting like that. It's you not fronting. Not... I legit do feel um, fine. I, no, I feel not terrified. Dude, look, look, Denzer, this is my upbringing. I was raised for this moment. I mean, I was raised by, like, fearful, worrying farmers, engineers. So right now, it's like, it's, I'm good. Hey, why don't we have a little hand sanitizer time together? Please. Oh, you, you want can, me to do can, it? Yeah, well, it's your hand sanitizer. I don't want to take too much. Perfect, thank you. I really enjoyed my time with Denzer. I hope you did too. I'm lucky to know him. And I'm very lucky to have people around that make me laugh. And that I can be real with. The be real thing, I don't know if I want to keep that in here. Because what the fuck does being real mean? People say it. You can support this show on patreon.com backslash wandering the aisles. That's patreon.com backslash wandering the aisles. Before we go, I, I want to share this with you. A friend of mine sent me this clip, this completely unadorned recording of her getting to know her piano again. Here's her introducing it. Okay, so here we are. I'm at my piano. Uh, it hasn't been tuned since we moved back. Um, a little over a year ago. Wait, more than that. Hasn't been tuned. It's really off key. I just want to tell you a little bit about this person. Her name is Grace. Grace is a really talented, beautiful, amazing at pretty much everything she does. I don't know everything she does, but you can just tell. And she is a connector of people. She's a very caring person. God damn it, how do I... It was just moving to me because it's out, it's she's playing on an out of tune piano and she knows it, but she needed it and she needed to get on the piano and do something that was beautiful and she did 
and she powered through it, and she sent her mistakes. But I feel like playing some Claude Debussy. So here's a little bit of Claire de Lune. Hope it helps brighten your day. on and on and on and on, but I don't feel comfortable playing beyond there, so. Come back next week. We need each other. <laughs>